Hey McFly subscribers. So I've got a review for you today. It's actually on a sleeping bag. A couple of you had, had asked about this uh, for me to do a review on this bag. Um, also on a tent that I have and a few other items. So I'm going to start today with the, the sleeping bag and over the next few weeks try to review some of the other items. Um, so first and foremost this is the I can't pronounce this very well. It's spelled S-U-I-S-S-E. I'll put it down in the description section for you guys to be able to see it, uh, how it's spelled. But it's like Suzy, Su Swissy Sport, I think. So Swissy Sport is the name of the, the brand. Um, right there, okay? It's called their three pound Alpine mummy bag. You know, it's good, I like it. You know, I mean, really for, for $30, that's how much this costs. When you go to Big Five, generally, it's $29.99, I believe. And that's where I got it. I got it at a Big Five store, their location. But you can actually get it on BigFive.com, too. Um, so if you go to whatever it is, their website, Big Five's website, um, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on a bunch of different places. But I think, I think Big Five has the best prices. They say that it's worth $79, and they cut it slash the price is $29. Every time I go into Big Five, I see this bag for $29.99. Every once in a while, you can get a discount, like 5, 10, 15% off um, on anything in their store. And that can drop it down even lower. So this is actually, so I've said many times zero degree. It's actually a five degree bag. So it's not a zero degree. This one specifically. Now they do make a, a zero degree, and sometimes it's on sale for the same money. Otherwise, $79. But if you catch that, that's a great deal. Okay, so it's got, it comes with a compression sack basically. So it's just uh, this sack. You can see how much smaller it was. It does compress it down quite a bit. The five degree has orange. And the zero degree is like a chartreuse, kind of like hot green color. Okay, but the rest is identical. So this is. Pretty good bag, and you can see it's it's pretty thick too. Uh, it does keep you very warm. So with this bag, obviously it gets small. It, it says three pounds. I think they're about right on three pounds. That's not like a. It's not an ultra light, so you don't necessarily. If you're really watching weight on your your pack, you know this might not be the the bag for you, sleeping bag. But, you know this is really great. I actually take it hiking just because I like the idea of something like a zero degree and for me $29 is my price range I don't want to go and spend hundreds of dollars which you would have to do for anything in the zero degree five degree anything under 25 degree I, I think at least my knowledge you guys might know better but I think you'd have to be spending over well over a hundred dollars on a bag if not three or four hundred to get the weight down any less than what this is, or even size. I mean, I've seen some zero degrees that come in something real small and weigh, you know, a pound and a half, two pounds. But those are down, those are, you know, they're just, they're a much more expensive bag. So this is, in my opinion, for the money, the best bag you can get. I like sleeping in zero degree because you can always take it off but you can't always put more on right so if you're out and it gets chilly at night you know I'll, I'll be honest you know if you want to find out exactly how this rates I've never been in zero degree weather with it I just don't go camping in the dead of winter here in Co uh, southern Colorado I just don't do it doesn't mean I never will but I just don't do it usually it the lowest it'll get is 15 degrees um, maybe 20 degrees at night that's okay with this bag but I will say I've had 15 degrees in this bag without a a pad underneath I started to get a little chilly with 15 degrees and no pad okay obviously the pad helps insulate and keeps you warmer okay so with a pad I think this would be fine at zero degrees I did start getting a little chilly at 15 degrees with no pad but you know, it wasn't, I wasn't freezing, I wasn't shivering, I was just like, oh, you know, I wish I could be a little warmer. That was the only, only thing. But it's, you know, it really is a good bag, guys, I and mean, for 
for a sleeping bag like this that compresses that small. It's got enough room. I'm not a very tall guy though, okay? But I can imagine that I, I, I think someone six foot, possibly even a little taller, could fit in this just fine. I, you know, my feet aren't like smashed up against. I'm five foot seven, five foot eight, somewhere around there. So I'm rather short. And it fits great for me, obviously, but there's not many sleeping bags out there that don't, right? Uh, they just, they make them for a little bigger people. So I'm always gonna fit in one. But I don't, I don't, I think it would be fine. In fact, Carter came with me and we had a zero degree, same bag, but the zero degree. So the chartreuse, I also have one of those. Um, I take this one more often, but that one's for technically for my wife, but he only had like a 40 degree and it was getting cold that night. So I said, I'll, I'll bring that. So we got a, uh, I brought the zero degree for him which is the same size bag, uh, pa um, sleeping bag, and he said he was fine. And he slept just fine in it, he fit, and he, I, I think he's like six foot. So he was fine in it, and he didn't feel any, you know, he probably could go even higher. So, you know, uh, one thing I will say, I mean, obviously it's a $30 bag, so you're not getting luxury. This is not like the nicest, nicest bag you can get. A few things that I found, that are negatives on it is the zipper. So the zipper, it works well, it works well. When you're trying to zip yourself up at night, you can see I'm already starting to, just that simple, like that, I'm getting caught on, on the nylon on the inside. Okay, so it's, it's something that it requires a little extra effort to try to zip this up. So when you get yourself in there and you've got it zipped down to your waist, to try to pull that up one-handed, it's almost impossible. You have to use two hands and you gotta be very careful not to snag it into the nylon. I've had that happen a few times. I've always been able to get it out, but when you're tired, you know, you just don't wanna sit there, you know, get out of the bag, get your light out and try to figure out how to, you know, undo it. So, you know, I get up a couple times at night to use the restroom and you're always unzipping and zipping and I, it happens, it'll happen at like two in the morning when I get up to use the restroom and it's like, ah, uh, you know, I get all stuck and then, you know, I've got to spend some time trying to fix it. So I've had that happen a few times. That's one thing to think about with a $30 bag, but it will get you out there. If you're on a budget, I feel this is a, the best bag I've found at that price range and the temperature rating. Okay, so you know you can get you can get light lighter even than this bags that are rated 40, 50 pounds in roughly that price range, fifty dollars or less, right? So you know it, it also a nice thing it has here is like a little spot that you can put maybe keys or something. I've never used it. Another, uh, one thing, I, another thing that bugs me is that this Velcro is right here by your neck. And sometimes if I don't have it positioned on there perfectly, it'll kind of scrape and rub and it, it chaffs and that is annoying. But generally I don't have that issue. And if you really work at it, you can kind of pull this down a little more and make sure that it's in there right and then it'll kind of keep padded, okay? It also has a drawstring. Obviously, like most mummy bags, so you can really, as you can see, you can draw that up so it's literally just like this, you know, or like that. Um, and that that will keep you very, very warm. So there you go, guys. It, it's, I think, a pretty good bag. Now, I'm not going to attempt on camera here. It'll take way too long and annoying, especially sitting here at the desk, to try to stuff it back in that, that bag. If it's, I do it, but it does take a little bit. Our air conditioner is not fixed. I'm sweating like a pig. I just don't want to deal with it. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning when it's cooler in here. But it, it's a good bag, guys. So I'll put links down at the bottom for the Big Five uh, ad where I think that's the best deal. That's where I got it at the Big Five store. Uh, but it's the same price online as it is on in their shop, $29.95, at least at this moment while I'm making the video. I don't know what, what will change in the future. It might be different price or you might have to buy it somewhere else. But for now, I'll put the link up to, to Big Five where I got it. 
at the $30 price range. I've had this for about a year, roughly a year and a half, and I like it. And I've taken it out multiple times, probably probably seven, eight times, and never, never had an issue. So, besides the zipper sticking. So, other than that, it seems to be holding up well. There's not, you know, it's not that bad. So, I mean, I've already gotten my $30 worth. So it's a good, it's a good bag. So I definitely highly recommend it if you're on a budget. Now, if you've got money to spend, that's not the bag for you. Okay, the, the, there's better bags out there if you want to go spend $150, $200. Definitely better bags. But if you don't, it's a good bag. It's a really good bag, especially for a budget. And if you're like me and you don't like spending a lot of money, it works. You know, I'd rather pack on an extra pound on my back than go fork up $200. That's just how I am. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. I will try to, re to respond as quick as possible. Also, if you haven't before, please subscribe. I do a lot of fishing and camping videos. Very fun. I also tie flies, so if you have not, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You won't be sorry. It's a, it's a fun channel. Now, you guys go out and catch some fish. Well, I guess it is camping, so you guys go out and camp. Have a good time camping. <laughs>